welcome to The Knitting Project. My name is Sharon and I'm coming to you from Surrey in the UK where I live with my family and my animals. Today is Monday the 6th of June 2022 and this is episode 127. Welcome if you are a new viewer, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, apologies for being very MIA over the last few months um, due to the wedding and all the family commitments I had. The podcast really did fall by the wayside. Um, if vlogs are your thing, I hope you enjoyed them. If not, I'm so sorry. Um, we are starting afresh on a brand new project from today, which is exciting. So I've got quite a few bits and pieces to show you, so I'm going to crack on. Um, bit of a word about the background. My office is a mess. During the whole um, getting the house tidy for the wedding, everything that kind of didn't have an obvious home got thrown in here. I haven't got around to throwing it back out again yet, so that's going to happen this week. It's going to go back out. Um, but so if you can see any mess in the background, I think you can see that a lot there. Um, please just bear with me, it will get tidier. And I hope it's not so too distracting. Um, so this is my podcast all about my crafty life. Um, I have a rotation of whips so that I do different whips on different days um, in order to get everything done. Um, and I've got quite a few bits and pieces to show you. I think I've already said that. Apologies. Um, I have some knitting. I have some sewing and I have some crochet this week. No journaling this week. I will save that for another week. Also, it was my birthday yesterday and um, I got some lovely yarny gifts. So I will share those with you later on in the podcast. So let's go into the first section. My first section is admin. Um, huge apologies. If you've won a prize since December last year, I still have them. They have not gone out yet. They're not lost in the post. I haven't sent them. I will get round to that. Um, probably not this week because they're in the corner over there and I need to clear stuff to get to them but I will get round to them don't worry I haven't forgotten I'm so sorry I also need to draw prizes for the um shawl along and the first check-in for the square a day cow so I will do all that over the course of this month and get everything my aim is to get everything out before the 30th of June which is when the next check-in for the square a day is so we haven't got any other cows running at the moment it's just the square a day um I am going to hopefully do something in July but I need to talk to somebody else about that first and then um after that but we'll start afresh in September and we'll come up with something for the end the latter half of the year I was chatting to some lovely friends last night about what we might do so um we're going to do that come from the 1st of September but for the moment I need to reset and get back into doing this um and my thoughts are I want to do I like vlogging um so I thought I might try and do a separate um life video vlog as well um a week um of my previous week and just put all the clips together of that rather than putting it on the end of the podcast just because it makes the podcast really long to edit um and i like to get the podcast out so i want to do that and once a week i'd like to do a um special video if you like on one of the other crafts I do so whether it's journaling or sewing or it might be knitting it could be something I'm knitting that I want to show how I do that particular thing like my um, using two circulars or um, I did a how I sew in my ends on one of the vlogs I think um, but I have got the facility to do over the head now which is great so you're on a new tripod um, it's hangs down from a shelf which I'll show you at some point so you're sort of hanging in front of me which is great um so it's a permanent fixture um it's not one that I will take around the house I've got my normal tripod for that but this is going to be a permanent fixture over my desk which I think is going to make my life a lot easier when it comes to recording because I can just throw it on there and I'm ready to go it's pretty much ready to set set up um I haven't done any overhead on it yet but um it's right in the right place so I'm assuming it's going to work um so anything else i need to tell you in admin i think that's it so um do you want to look at some knitting shall i show you some knitting so day one is socks and if you've been following my vlogs you will have seen that i had a whole parade of finished objects of socks so um these are probably all new to you um and if you haven't been following the vlogs i'm really sorry um most of them I, one pair has been gifted and the other i have been wearing um, but I have got a finished object pair of socks. I have finally finished my flower crown socks. 
Um, so this is a pattern by, I can't remember, uh, Lark's Bonnets, I can remember, Lark's Bonnets. Um, and it's a, yeah, it's a flower, power, uh, flower crown sock pattern. And as you can see, it's beautiful. It looks like it's cabled, but it's not. It's very clever construction. Um, it should have little bubbles on the top there, which I didn't do because these started out as a different pattern. Um, and I frogged that pattern. I can't remember what it was or the reason I frogged it, but I frogged it. Um, but I kept the cuff. So I just kept this cuff. Um, and I have done the cuff to the flower, flower crown socks on my... Um, oh, what's the, girl, the girl's name? Ah, oh, the self-striping one. I'm blanking, completely blanking. She doesn't do any dye anymore. Uh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. Can't, I can't get it, um, but I did it on there. Um, so that is on one of the Parade of Socks. It's the pink and white ones. Um, so that is on one of my vlogs. But anyway, this is the Flower Crown Socks. And this was done in Lay Family Yarn. And was the Three Ships colourway from their Squiddle Village collection. Um, yeah, and there are, there are definitely two. I have definitely done two. Now the minis are two different minis. Um, because I ran out of this one. This was one from Kelly. This one is a mystery one. Don't know where that came from. Um, but it was the closest match I had in my stash. And it's not bad. It's not a bad match. Um, it doesn't. You don't really notice it that much. That they're different colours. I mean you can here because it's in really good lighting. But um, in real life they don't notice that much. Um, so yeah they're, they're my flower crown socks. I've loved knitting this pattern. I did the whole of that the first sock quite quickly and then the second sock just languished forever I then thought I might frog it because I was like why am I not knitting is it because the pattern's complicated or something silly like that and I was like oh maybe I'll frog it and then I was like well you've already knit one sock why don't you have a go at the pattern because I was when I picked these up I'd only done like a couple of I'd done the cuff and a couple of rows but when I got into the pattern so I did all of this last week while we were away um, once I got into the pattern, it was really quick and easy, and I thought, well, I don't know why I didn't do it. So <laughs> it's a lovely pattern, really easy, really intuitive, and yeah, it's it's done, um, and I've loved it. So they're done. I can put them in my rotation of little shorty socks to wear this summer. Um, and then I, now I have a little parade of socks for you that are all works in progress for different reasons. So first of all is these ones, which are hanging out in my sherry iris bag. And this are Sherry Iris socks. So this is the, uh, this was her Easter 22 um, yarn box. This was the sock set that came with that. Um, that's the mini. That's the, a stitch marker that's just fallen on the floor. I need to go find that in a moment. That's the mini. That's the main. Ah, that's where those needles are as well. That's the main skein really pretty blue and then this is the sock so I've done the cuff the heel and um, I'm going up the foot now um I cast these on because I was going to go and see Sherry I, I was lucky enough to meet up with her while I was on holiday and I really wanted to be knitting her yarn while I saw her um so I cast this on um because all of the rest of my socks at the time were at a difficult stage like they were at the heel turn or they were um the flower crown socks which were um lace work so i cast these ones on and i love these these are so pretty um and these have also got my metal needles in which i want for one of my um works in progress that i've got to show you because it is the lace socks so these again little shorties um i've done a twisted one by one rib um, just done a little short leg on it, heel flap and gusset. I do mine on two circulars. Um, these are 2.5 millimeters, and um, they're chowgu. I uh, do it on 60 stitches, so that's that one. Next up, I'm going to use this one, which is in my elderflower stitches bag. And it's heavier than it should be just for a sock whip i don't know what else is in here oh no it's just got socks in it right so this is a sock set from um hedgerow yarns have i got the ball band i have so it's hedgerow yarns 
and this is a faded chintz and it comes with two minis that one and that one and that's the main colour and then I made this into a jelly roll at the start I did a jelly roll um, so the jelly roll is a pattern by Orange Knits Marie Catherine Briner um, and then I when I got to the main part I couldn't be bothered to do the jelly roll heel so I've just done a main uh, just normal heel on it which because this yarn is so pretty <laughs> I really like um, so I am doing where am I I'm on the gusset decreases on that one so I've got a little owl on that side and I've got a corner of craft Starbucks cup which is a new one that I bought at Waltham no, not Waltham Abbey, at uh, EAYF, the Sangular Yarn Festival from Hannah of Corner of Craft. So I've used the two colours for the cuffs and then I'm going up the foot and then I'm just probably going to rib in this colour um, in the middle for the jelly roll, for the like the sucky in bit um, for the jelly roll sock. So if you've not seen a finished jelly roll, just go Google it because um, they're really pretty but you'll see this one finished at some point. Um, Again, two circulars. I'm using Licky needles for these ones. Um, and I again use 60 stitches, 60 stitch count on that. So, yeah, I'm on the gusset decreases on that one. So, again, that was at an awkward stage at the time. So, oh, and I frogged part of it because I decided I didn't want to do the heel, so I pulled the heel out. So, that's that's kind of been done a second time. So, that's that one. These are my um, cinema knitting socks. So, um, oh, and I have talk amongst yourselves while I just finished my row. That's funny. <laughs> I hadn't realised I'd not finished my row. So I'll just, just do that. So these are the socks that I keep on my door or in my handbag if I'm going out um, so that I can just grab and go. Um, so these are a ball of yarn from Dragon Hill Studio and I am obviously just picking up for the gusset, gusset decreases on this one. So we were, I was lucky enough to go and see Cinderella in the West End um, and um, Bat Out of Hell in Eastbourne last week. It was a really great weekend. So I um, needed some cinema knitting socks basically and this is the yarn, is that pretty? I love how they do their yarn cakes and it hasn't got its ball band, I don't know what its ball band's called, in fact there's nothing in that bag other than the yarn and the needles. So that's the yarn, um, the bag is one that I made, um, it's my first attempt at a project bag, it's really bad, <laughs> it's really bad. I mean there's dodgy bags and there is how is this actually holding yarn but it's really pretty I do like it and it's quite soft and squidgy to go in a handbag so I don't mind um, and my thoughts were if um, I had this in my bag and they took it off me to go into the theatre I wouldn't be absolutely devastated because it's my bag um, but yeah I mean you get it back afterwards if you do do it but they didn't take it off me so not that I I don't knit during the show because I don't think that's fair but um, I'd knit on the way there and on the way back on the train so here we go this is the sock this is how it's working up this is for a friend of mine um, that I do guides with and is um, the 64 stitches and will be for a seven um, size seven foot English size seven foot um, okay that's coming out on the heel it's great isn't it and at the moment I am temporarily magic looping it um, and that was because again if, I, if anything happened to this project um, I'd have only lost one set of needles not two um, but nothing happened to it it was fine so you can have a second needle now <laughs> now that it's all back home um, I don't think I've got any more theatre trips planned um, this year so far got one that we're going oh we're going to go and see um, Bonnie and Clyde don't know when that is but we're going to go and see that for Meg's birthday so that'll be soon 
So that's that one. And then holding, hanging out in this Elderflower Stitches bag, I have got the one I need the metal needles for. So this is a mini from Willy Goodness, which is really soft and squidgy. And the main skein for this is from a homespun house. And this, I think, is a house, um, little house in the big woods. It's really pretty. And again, it's really soft and squidgy. It is a, what is it? It's a 75-25, but it's such a soft, squidgy base. Um, and then that's the same. So they go together really well. These are going to be really soft socks. And I've done the cast on, which is a twisted rib cast on. And then I've done a the heel flap. I haven't done the heel turn yet on that. Um, and then I needed, I do need the um, metal needles for these because I am making um, the Midsummer Blossoms socks. There we go. Which is by, I can't remember. Oh, that's awful. Oh, what piece is it by? I know I said it on my vlog. Let me look it up on my phone whilst you're looking at this thingy. That's what I'm making. Okay. So, <laughs> bear with me while I look it up. That was an oops, wasn't it? Shouldn't take me long to find it. As long as my phone behaves. There we go. It is This Handmade Life. That's who it's by. So, and I'm just doing the shorty pair there. So the green bit is going to be this and then the blue bit is the heel. Um, yeah, really looking forward to that. But as I said, I needed to find my metal needles because I prefer to do lace work on metal needles. So I want to get into them at some point. Um, and I think that's it with my socks. So all of this I'll show you a bit more in depth next week. This is kind of a roundup of what I'm doing. Um, I didn't want it to go on forever. <laughs> so um, I will show you more of this next week. Um, but yeah, that's day one socks. So day two is shawl day. And I am currently working on um, a, the Curious Handmade Learning to Cry shawl, which is a very pretty um, fingering weight and mohair um, shawl. This um, is going to be a gift for a friend. And I've, I'm really enjoying this, except for the fact that, if you can see there, the um, lace work is actually in the mohair, which is um, challenging, shall we say? But I'm getting there with it. So, here we go. I am using the, I think this is called Autumn Glow. Oh, I got the ball band. I have got the ball band. Yeah, so this is from Sherry Iris. And it's in her sturdy sock, which is a 7525, and it's called Autumn Glow. Um, I'm also using, also from Sherry Iris, um, her Kid Silk Mohair. Can't remember the colour name of this, but there is some on her website at the moment. Um, I don't know why I put that in there because that's actually the one that's attached to my project. That's all I've got left at the moment of the Autumn Glow. And I am only 70, well not even 70%, I'm only 65% through. So I don't think I'm going to have enough of this to finish the project. Um, I have got a mini that came with it um, that I can add to it should I need to. Um, otherwise this might be a bit shorter than the um, recommended size. But if that's the case, it's, that's the case. It is um, already quite long. So it's, let's untangle it, uh, which is the right side. That's the right side. I'm showing you the right side. Am I showing you the right side? Where's my stitch marker? I have a stitch marker on here, or progress keeper. That's telling me which is the right side. There we go. So I've got my little, um, that's a little mouse from So Sweet Violet. Right, so that is the right side. 
You can tell I'm showing Mohair, I'm beginning to joke. So this is how it's looking. I love this. I love how this is looking. And as you can see, it's already quite long. So if I do run out of yarn, it's not going to be the end of the world. If I'm honest, it might just end up with a, a bit longer mohair border, maybe. Um, so wherever I run out, the, net, the, the finish of it is the mohair. So um, I can always finish it, which will be good. Um, so I've got another, I think another two mohairs and then the border. So hopefully I've got enough for one section in that and then I definitely have enough for one section in this. So I'll finish because that came with the sock set. So that actually came with the sock set. Um, so it'd be quite nice to have that yarn in as well. Um, but yeah, it's looking pretty, isn't it? I'm liking how it's looking in the camera, actually. It does look pretty. So yeah, this is for someone's birthday. I'm hoping she will like it. And yeah. So that's the Learning to Cry Shawl by um, Curious Handmade. It is from a shawl society, but it is an old one. So I think if I, I'm, I think I'm right in saying that she releases her patterns as singles after a while. Um, not sure. You might still have to buy the whole thing. And it's from the one that's the Secret Garden one. So I'm not sure what number that is. And it doesn't say on here um, what one it is. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. But it's from one of the Sock Societies. But I'm sure if you Google Learning to Cry Shawl, you'll be able to find that. Um, and as I said, I'm doing mine in Sherry Iris Autumn Glow, which is really, really pretty. It's such a pretty yarn. Um, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a it's a fun knit. Even if it has got mohair, it makes me joke. Um, so, yeah, I need to crack on with that one because that birthday is actually coming up quite rapidly. So that needs to get done. Um, but yeah, so that's day two, shawl day. So day three is garment day, and that is my Whitmore, which is hanging out in my lovely bag from Stitch by Mrs. Day, Paula. Now, um, I haven't worked on this recently, but I'm fairly certain I have worked on it since you last saw it on the podcast. So I'm going to show it um, because it's going into the rotation from this week anyway. And this way I can familiarise myself with it. So the Whitmore is a pack pattern by Amy Loudon, who is um, Taylor S Studios. And that's what it looks like. And I am doing mine with mohair and fingering weight held double. <clears throat> so yes, more mohair, more choking. Uh, so I'm using Kid Silk Haze for the mohair in just a, a brilliant white. And then I'm using my advent calendar from 2020 um, from Dandelion and Dogwood to make the cardigan. And um, I am, right, so this is where I am. I have started the sleeves. So I'm, this mini that I'm putting in here, I've already put eight rows in this sleeve and eight rows in this sleeve. So I'm putting eight rows in both the sleeves there. Um, can you see that one? Yeah, it's a bit there. And then the rest is going in the body. Oh, guess what? True to form, I'm in the middle of a row. I'm doing really well, aren't I? Uh, but that, to be fair, this one this one shows better in the middle of a row, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, so the, it is a cardigan. Um, that's the back actually. The back looks beautiful. Obviously, not everybody's cup of tea because it is very um, colourful, but it is muted colourful because obviously the white mutes down the the minis anyway. And to be fair, they were quite soft minis to start with. Um, it's it's more of a pastel advent than a bright's advent um, and I love this and it's gonna look really lovely this is a new dress um, it's gonna really look really lovely over this dress <laughs> so I need to get this done <laughs> I want to wear it with this because this is just a plain white dress I thought a splash of color over it would go really well um, so yeah I want to get that finished now theoretically I haven't moved that so theoretically the last time you saw this was where this progress keeper is, which would mean I've done all of this. 
um, since the podcast, but maybe not because I think I split for the sleeves. I don't know. Don't know how far I was. I'm going to move that down now, so I know definitely that's where I am. Um, so yeah, it's eight rows of each colour in each sleeve. Let's hold it that way around because honestly, you can see it better. Um, eight rows of eight of each colour in the sleeve, and then um, the rest is going in the body, which is equating out to about um, nine nine and a half rows. So there is not enough to put a whole round in both the sleeves and make them all nine. There isn't quite enough for that, so it's about nine and a half in the body and eight in the sleeves. So, um, yeah, I love it. I love how this is working up. And it's got this beautiful pattern as well. And Amy's patterns are brilliant. She holds your hand every step of the way, even to the point of telling you where to put in um, stitch markers, everything. Now, I'm doing a straight sleeve, and then I'm going to do a rapid decrease at the wrist. And... Have I modified this any other way? Oh yeah, um, Amy does something really clever with the band that involves DPN needles. I've not done that, I've just done a straight rib onto the side of my cardigan in this because, because it's mohair, I didn't feel that I needed to sink it in or anything. Um, so it's just going to have a nice floppy button band on the side. I'm not actually putting buttons on it, so um, I'm not too worried about it. Um, so that port bit I didn't do. My other whip mall that I did, I did do that on, which was just a plain DK one. I would definitely do it if I was just doing plain DK, but because it's got the mohair in it, it's um, quite sort of floppy anyway. I didn't think it'd make too much of a difference. I started off doing it and then swapped into just carrying on with the needles that I've got, if I'm honest. Part of that is just sheer laziness. Um, don't, there wasn't really a reason other than I couldn't be bothered to change needles but yeah I love that looking forward to getting back into it um, and looking forward to seeing where I was on it as well so at least I know now that I'm part way through a row so it's going to be easy to pick that up and carry on I mean to be fair that's almost um, car knitting now or TV knitting now because it's just round and round in circles just having to remember to count rows from time to time which doesn't make it um cinema knitting because obviously you can't see to count the rows so that's day three garment day so day four i haven't got um day four is going to be um gift day where i'm going to be gift knitting and i've got um i want to make some cell boo mittens in a worsted weight yarn for a friend for her birthday um but the yarn I want to use is currently stuck in my cupboard behind an awful lot of stuff. So I really need to get that sorted in order to get the yarn out. So hopefully next week you will have seen that. I have printed out the pattern. I need to sort out the needles and I need to sort out the yarn. So I haven't got day four. Um, so we'll go straight into day five. So day five is my crochet day at the moment. So I... Um, I'm a June baby and I've got two friends who are also June babies and we have decided that this year we would swap 15 minis each to each other so we end up with 30 minis um, so that we've got a countdown box for the whole of June for our birthdays um, so I've started a corner to corner blanket in mine um, now it's hanging out in this beautiful beautiful bag that my lovely friend Brendy who is one of the girls that we, I swapped with made for me for my birthday it is gorgeous so this is supposed to be later on in the uh, episode where i was going to show my birthday haul um but as my blanket is currently hanging out in this um i have now um grabbed that and shown you so um i am using what i think is a three millimeter hook i can't remember what size hook this is but i think it's a three millimeter I can't even remember who I got this from, um, but there, she is on Etsy, um, and I love this hook. It's the one I used for my Christmas crochet blanket, and I'm on day six, so there's five minis in here already. It's a bit blue at the moment. I'm assuming the colour's going to change at some point, but as I love blue, I'm not really going to complain. Um, so... so this is what I've got so far. So that's mini one. That's mini two, that's mini three, 
that's mini four and that's mini five and i haven't got around to doing today's yet which will be day six um these are all different dyers i can't remember who they are um some of them have been named some of them haven't um but i'm doing this with brendy who is a lovely viewer of the podcast and laura who is the lonely knitter um and this is what i've decided to do with mine i'm doing this corner to corner i'm going to do 15 minis increasing and then 15 minutes decreasing and um yeah it will be whatever size it is it'll be a little lap blanket or just to throw over your shoulders if you're cold um and i love it i really do it'll probably live down the caravan um it has got attached to it another one of my birthday presents this one here so it's a beautiful little um progress keeper you sit still from so sweet violet that hubby bought me for my birthday as part of my birthday presents from my husband um yeah, it's really pretty i love 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 this i really do so i'm enjoying putting a mini in we swapped 10 gram minis so um it really isn't a chore if you like um to pop them into the blanket each day I, it's easy i've got enough time to do it without any trouble whatsoever and um I really really enjoy it I'm looking forward to doing that every day at the moment um, so yeah and as I said it's hanging out in this beautiful bag there are a few other bits and pieces in here um, I've got a little lavender pouch and some journaly bits which is fabulous um, what I want to do is do a birthday page with some of my journaling bits um, and I'll put an overhead on that and that hopefully will be a video in the next upcoming weeks um so yeah it's just just lovely i love that and it's as i said it's an amazing project bag which as this gets bigger <laughs> it will need so i need to grab um today's mini at some point out of the box and i'm doing i'm alternating between laura and brendan brendy's minis so one day i'll do laura's the next day i'll do brendy's and one day I'll, so i think today's brendy's um love it love it love it love it um so that's my day five so day six is blanket day and i am woefully behind on my current blanket project um i am doing a blanket in all the squiggle village packs from lay family yarn and i've got at least two in here that i've not started um i think i've got a third one in next week's happy mail because that's sitting there um and i am halfway through a square at the moment so i mean i have done a few squares i really want to try and get back into this so i get this done especially as i now don't know which packet packs are which month i don't think they're written on them what are they are they on the back oh yeah chapter five. Oh, that's good chapter are you you haven't got one on okay <laughs> so one says chapter five and one i haven't got one on so yeah um yeah that's a pretty color i like that color and this is the blanket oh hold on i seem to have ah, there's another one there that decided to fall on the floor that is the one I'm currently adding to. That's the strip I'm currently adding to. So I'm doing this in strips and I'm doing alternate. So that's one, this, that's the same mini as that one. 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 Um, and then this is the main blank. Um, sorry, I should say I'm joining it together with this, which is breeze is it how you call breeze breeze have i got you in have i got your ball band in here yes i have so it's also a squiddle village deep breath um squiddle village main skein color 
so I'm using that to join it all and I might have to talk to Kelly and work out which one's which so I appear to be putting in chapter four which I think is that one no because you're chapter five aren't you so I've got chapter four in there one two three four five six seven I'm putting in chapter five I'm currently putting in chapter five so maybe that's chapter six then I'm gonna have to look on Kelly's Instagram feed to work out which ones are which um in which case I'm not as far behind as I thought I was which is good so this is the main blanket so far I love how it's coming out it's going to be really pretty when it's done um and hopefully I will get on with this. I'm always tempted to just leave this down the caravan and, you know, make sure I work on it when I'm down the caravan. I mean, I would definitely take other projects with me, but if I left it down there, I might actually pick it up or I might forget about it completely. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, but I do need to work out which ones go in next, actually. Because I'd like them to go in, in kind of chapter order, if I'm honest. I might have to message Kelly and go, I'm stuck so presumably that one must be chapter seven which would be right wouldn't it because that would have been may's so that would be chapter seven because june's ones haven't come out yet which would make that chapter six and i'm using chapter five <laughs> working it out on the podcast but yeah so it's, it's really pretty i'm really enjoying it um each square is where's my squares here we go is six rounds of granny clusters so there's a little granny square there's six rounds of them and i swap um as i finish a round i swap i turn it around so i swap sides so you get a very square square that way or at least i do um and i can normally get two squares out of one um if you hear something in the background Demi's chasing a hair bunchy across the floor I can normally get two squares out of one 10 gram um, mini but having said that as you can see on that one I did run out so I have to go and find some like leftovers I've got of Lay Family Yarn just to add in but you're not going to notice those when you're in the blanket um, in hindsight I definitely should have only done five rounds but it's too late now <laughs> I'm not going to change it now. I've just had to keep finding the colours, I think. Um, yeah. Some I have loads left over. Like, um, I just picked up a leftover. I put it. See, I had all that left over from one of them. But then I have nothing left over on others and I run out. So it's just the luck of the draw. So the palette packs are 10, 10 gram minis. So I get 20 squares out of a month. Um, which theoretically if I only did a square a day and then spent the other 10 days of the month attaching them I would get done in a month but yeah it doesn't work that way it hasn't worked that way but that's what I'm doing with that so my square a day is a brand new project and it's living in my so sweet violet bag which I adore this bag and in here I have um, a lovely present that Sherry from Sherry Iris made me when we met up which has got a lovely little embroidery of a cow parsley in it and this is one of her scrappy projects that she makes and oh, I love this bag and it's holding some minis at the moment and I'm making a little cosy memory blanket um, out of my advent from West Green Loft Yarns from last year from 2021 and I'm using a Every other square is done in this, which is um, Café Au Lait by um, Lay Family Yarn. And I think I'm going to need a bit more of this. So I need to chat, chat to Kelly to see if I can get some more from her. Um, it's only going to be a, a, a little one. It's only going to be a little blanket. Um, totally inspired from Jules of So Sweet Violet. Um, so this is the same construction as hers. Um, it's got... 18 stitches for on each side for my um, squares I use the um, 
memory blanket pattern it is on my Ravelry page and it is a free pattern if you want to um, look it up if um, if you can't use Ravelry I'll make sure I put in the show notes um, where else you can find it if you can find it anywhere else so the, as I said the coloured squares in between are um, my West Green Loft yarns advent and I've done it with the planar squares from Kelly I love 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 how this is turning out um, it's really really pretty I just wanted to cast on something new. I wanted to use an advent. I saw this idea that Jules came up with and thought, oh, that is a fabulous idea. And um, yeah, I, I jumped on it and that's what I've started. So it's 10 squares across the bottom. Um, and Jules's is 13 squares in length. I may do mine 12 because I might run out of yarn. I may not be able to do mine 13. So we will see on that. I can safely get two squares out of one of my balls at one of my minis I think I can get three if I can get three then I should be able to do 13 if I can only get two it will have to be 12 um and yeah but I love it I love how this is working out and this is such a relaxing project to, learn, to work on <laughs> I took it on holiday with me and this is all I did um also th there is a reason that i cast this on i wanted something um easy to knit um because i have been reading the court of thorn and roses series i know i'm very late to this party but my daughter um megan loves that genre of book and went to me mum you really should read it because you'll love it uh, well she's not wrong i'm on the last book and i only started reading them before we went on holiday so i was on the first book when we went away so when did we go away um sometime in may wasn't it um it was the middle of may wasn't it, it was the 13th it was friday the 13th we went away um so that's when i started the first book and i'm about to finish the last book <laughs> so um i am lucky i can read and knit at the same time as long as it's a fairly plain project um not quite sure why the brain didn't go finish your whip more because that would have been a good move <laughs> it went oh no let's cast on something new um and this is this is what i decided to cast on i was just like i've got all these lovely advents and i just don't use them so i thought i'd have a go and see if i could get a blanket of a decent size out of um out of the west green of yarns advent and i liked her gentle muted colors and obviously my hedgerow yarns blanket um i'm making it out of hedgerow yarns i didn't want to do a second hedgerow yarns one um so I mean, I could have just done my cosy memory blanket because, you know, why, why, why would I, you know, you don't really need two of these, but hey-ho, apparently I did. <laughs> so this has got cast on and I love it. Um, so that is what my square a day is at the moment. That's where I'm going with that. Um, so I'm doing a square a day on this one for the moment um, rather than my gentle blanket. I'm sure that will come back in the rotation but when I finish this, but I'm doing this one for the moment. And um, that's all my lovely minis can you see in there loads of lovely minis um and i've nicked my needles out of my cozy memory blanket and i'm using them in this they're my signature needles um so yeah totally random new cast on that is now suddenly a square a day because <laughs> that's what you do isn't it when you're a knitter and you know judging by the state of this room i really needed yet another new project to hang around um so that's the end of the knitting um that's all the knitting done i have a sewing project to share with you in a moment um and then it will be my birthday haul um i'm going to share my birthday haul with you this week and next week i will show you all my happy mail that has come in that you haven't seen um so i've got a basket of that but it occurred to me that i'm not going to have an awful lot of mail coming next week so i might as well hold that one off because there's nothing in there i want to use straight away so that can all sit there um, and I'll show you my birthday stuff this week because it was my birthday yesterday um, and then I'll show you that next week then I'll have something for next week right so let's go and find the sewing project so first up in other crafts I have sewing and that's hanging out in my lovely little it's a little bag from busy pottering it's got little hearts on it I love this bag it's so pretty so pretty and in here I have 
um, my new quilting project but this is how it's looking you can see where I'm going with it so the purple um, or lavender lilac um, that's going around is an old bed sheet and the hexes in the middle are pre-cut hexes that I got from eBay um, and I'm just starting to put them all together so the rest of this is actually also in a box in that cupboard so I really need to get to this cupboard at some point but I'm sure there's more than enough that I need to do this I won't be able to back it with it I'll need to find something else to back it with but um, I'm fairly certain I've got another old duvet that it's like a floral duvet that might go on the back of it um, so it's not going to be huge this is my first kind of my first go at this and I want to because um, I need to learn how to edge it and do is it binding bias binding and stuff on the edges now that one down the bottom there that one that's incorrect I need to take that out because that needs to be a half hexy when I made this I was going to make them all like this and then sew them together and then I realized that I'd have a double of the purple next to each other and I didn't want that and it wanted singles so I had to rethink how I was going to construct this so I was just going to make loads of these and then sew them all together and then I couldn't get my head around how I would do that and what bits of this I would need and what bits of this I wouldn't need so now I'm literally just adding them on to the main bit um, but yeah that bit down the bottom there that needs to come off um, and be turned into a half hexy or it's even less than half I think um, and then I might not even take it off I may just like literally fold it over and just sew it in because it's not really going to make too much of a difference is it because um, it's going to have some wooding in the back I like the way the light shines through it looks like a stained glass window <laughs> so yeah I'm liking that this is such a fun thing to do it's very relaxing and I'm trying to at least get one of these on a day um, maybe even a couple if I'm lucky um, but I'm back on doing all the purple ones again now so <laughs> I need to do all the purple ones and then I can add in some coloured ones again but it's good fun I'm really enjoying it and it's quite soothing and it, um, I asked Sherry if I could do this as part of her slow stitch along and she said I could so I have so many sewing projects that I've started but I haven't finished I'm hoping this is not going to be one of them I'm hoping I might actually get on with this I'd already started a different um, EPP project but I'm not loving it so I might have to do you frog sewing <laughs> I might have to um, unpick that and then make uh, use those hexes for something else or I might have enough um, done that I could unpick half of it put it together and make a book cover or something out of it um, but yeah that's a discussion for another day so yeah that's my EPP project which I keep on my desk and every time I've got a moment I try and sew one of those in um, right so birthday haul and what a haul it is First of all, um, I'm not going to say names of who gave me what because I haven't spoken to people and I'm not sure they want me to be able to do that. So I have mentioned the bag from Brendy, so apologies Brendy if you didn't want me to do that. Um, but I love this. This is cool. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm going to use it for at the moment, but I love it and it's going to look really good in the background here. It's probably going to hold something pretty. Um okay so I got first present from husband so this is a lovely bag by um, Jules of So Sweet Violet which I adore um, yeah so it's it's Jubilee butterflies so I figured that as I had a Jubilee birthday um, it would be nice to have a project bag that reminded me both of my birthday and the Jubilee hence this um, then Jules very kindly sent this along with it um, as a little birthday present. Having said I wasn't going to mention names, I didn't quite know how to do that without explaining that because um, Hubby didn't buy this one. Um, Jules sent it very kindly and I love it. So that's fabulous. Thank you, Jules. Um, there will be a sock project going in that very shortly, of which you will see. Um, these are coming out in no particular order. So this I got as birthday present from Herbie. 
this is dandelion and dogwood um which i mean oh, i love this so much that admittedly is quite bright for me um but for heels toes and cuffs it will be lovely and it does go with the very neon speckles in it this is called um simple times and is an 80 20 merino nylon um and it's a high twist so that's going to be a lovely lovely sock at some point um right so this is the first anonymous one this was from a friend and it's dusty dimples again 75 25 called torpid is that pretty like that i can see lots of socks in my future in fact there's loads of socks in my future which i will explain in a little while um I got gifted the Woolly Goodness Grin Bad and the Seven Soups um, last month. So you may not have seen this. If you've not seen it, look away. Oh, my camera battery is about to die. Hold on, I need to sort that out first. Apologies if the camera angle has changed. I've just had to change the battery. Okay, so I was gifted the Green Bad collection. So if you've not had your latest one, it's probably a good idea to look away now. This is brilliant. I love this. So that's the artwork that came with it. And oh, I love this so much. So pretty. So pretty. I love it. So it's called Running on Custard. <laughs> Oh, can't wait. Can't wait to use that one. Um, I got some cheapy stickers. So that again will go in my journaling um, video at some point. I was lucky enough to be gifted this from Willie Goodness, um, which has got two lovely little stitch markers in there. Um, and this is self striking platinum four ply pink lilac and blue so it's perfectly my colors um again i am looking forward to casting these on um i'm thinking that might be the next one i do after i finished my socks for kayla and then my darling daughters wait for a start i've got me this basket <laughs> but they also got me a little collection of yarn oh one of which is coming undressed from its ball band so the lovely Kelly of a family yarn did an update um, in the middle of May of 50 gram sock sets with the 20 gram mini um, and Oh, they're just gorgeous they're absolutely gorgeous and I um, tagged all three of my daughters in her post and said I want all of these for my birthday thinking that they'd get you know one each if I'm lucky no no they bought me the whole collection bless them so if girls if you're watching thank you so much I'm yeah over the moon so we have splash which is coming undone from its ball band so let me just take that off because it's coming undone anyway. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, Kelly at her best. I love her summer colours. And he is just... So I don't, to be fair, I don't know whether Kelly dyed these or whether Nick did, but they're beautiful. <laughs> Lay family yarn. Um, yeah, I love that. So that's Splash. And then there was D'Angelo. Right there, and it's these colours. It's beautiful spring green, and it's a delicate pink with the the green speckles in it. Oh, again, love it. Then we had butterfly blossom, which was my absolute favourite, and I was hoping that they they didn't get any of one. They got this one, so I'm very happy they did. Oh. This is going to be a complete collection of little summy shorty socks in some kind of lacy pattern. And then there's Phoebe, which again is beautiful. It's beautiful blues. Um, and oh, that one's coming undressed. 
So one's lost its ball band and the other one's coming undressed. I'm thinking my daughter's uh, possibly didn't keep these in the best way known to man. But yeah, I think that was making sure that I use it first. <laughs> and then lastly, there's Betsy Blue. It's just, just beautiful. I love this pink and those beautiful blues and then there's the splash of pink in it. And So I was very spoilt for yarn this year with my birthday. Um, That's it. Uh, I did get a water bottle as well, but that is currently in my bag, so I can't show you that. Um, yeah, so spoiled. Can't wait to cast some of these on. And then I need to tidy up my office too. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so the only thing I've got left to um, do now is news for the knitting project. And I'm sure you've seen all my news because I've been vlogging every day for quite a while now um obviously we've had the wedding which was lovely we're still waiting for the official video back from that and then i'm hoping that when that comes back i might be able to do a little video um so that was lovely it went really well um we've been away a couple of times we've been on holiday got to meet the lovely sherry of sherry iris which was a f oh it was really lovely but it was a really wet day we both got very wet that day um Yes, it's been really, really, really nice time. We're going away again this week. End, um, we're popping, we don't know where we're going yet, actually. We're going away in the caravan, but we haven't actually mentioned book anyway yet, but we are going away. Um, just Thursday to Sunday, but that will be the last time for a little while because I have some guiding commitments coming up, so I'll be away doing some guiding stuff. And then um, Ian's got the potential for some work that will clash with weekends and things so we've got a little break now possibly i don't know whether we'll get away in july at all um so it might be august before we go away again and then we've got some blue meets and things coming up um so i'm as i said i'm going to try and do a life vlog so i'm going to try and vlog like little bits during the week and then put that out as a separate video um, so my idea is my schedule i'm going to keep for my podcast will be the same that's going to go up on a sunday at 11 the life vlog will go up whenever I have finished it and it's ready. Um, and I'm thinking I will record the little whatever craft I'm deciding to showcase that week um, on a Thursday. Um, and again, that will go up when it's ready. So the only thing that will have a set release date will be the podcast, which will go back to its 11 o'clock on a Sunday slot. Um, I figure if I'm recording on Monday... I really should have enough time to get it edited and uploaded and sorted for it to go live on Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, if you'd like to support me and support the podcast, I would be very grateful. I'm in the need of prizes. That would be lovely. Um, and um, I have a Kofi account. If you would like to support me in that um, direction, I would love that. Thank you very much. Um, I I, and I know times are hard at the moment so if all else fails just let the ads run because that helps too um, the ad revenue I have got from vlogging has bought my lovely tripod that you're on um, so I managed to buy that and I've managed to buy some backgrounds to do overheads on so th yeah that's paid for that which was fabulous um, so thank you for those people that let the ads run I'm really really grateful um I am not going back to Patreon. I've decided I don't need that pressure at the moment. Maybe that's something I will look into in future or doing the membership, which I know Jules of So Sweet Violet has done a YouTube membership, which I am really enjoying. Um, it's a very easy way of doing it. But again, I just don't like the pressure of knowing I have to put the videos out. Um, I also didn't like um, not allowing everybody to see them because I didn't have that many Patreons. It seemed like a lot of effort for not many people to watch um so i was very grateful to those people that um supported me obviously don't get me wrong um but i just thought well actually this is not for me i'd rather those people didn't have to pay to see that content and they can see it for free on youtube and if they'd like to let the ads run again i'd be very grateful um so it's meant to see a fair bit from me um i'm going to drop stuff as and when i feel like it i'm going to record vlogs i'm going to record not tutorials but just how I do things and I'm going to um, share my life with you um, the kids are all on board they quite enjoy it when I'm vlogging although if you'd see Meg's face a couple of times during um, in fact I think she told me she hated me at one point which was great oh mum I hate you because <laughs> I stuck a camera at her um, 
yeah um they're, they're, they're all on board with it which is cool and we've got summer coming up and we are doing quite a lot of bits and pieces so i'm quite enjoying that but anyway um all that being said i'm going to go now because oh, my room if anything now looks worse and i need to work so i need to get going so i hope you're all okay wherever you are take care and all things being equal i will see you next week <laughs>